सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए The Geminid's meteor shower is believed to be the strongest of the year. It is active from December 4 to December 20 with December 13 and 14 considered to be the best nights for viewing these meteor showers. Recently the Leonid meteor showers have met their 12 monthly appearance and have reached their peak in India on November 17 and 18. In today's DNS we will tell you about meteor shower and we'll also look at some other aspects associated to it. Generally meteor showers are named after the constellation they appear to be approaching from. The Geminid's meteor showers are unique because their origin does not lie in a comet but what is believed to be an asteroid or an extinct comet. Asteroids are rocky objects that orbit the sun. They are remnants from the formation of the solar system over 4.6 billion years ago. Being much smaller than planets, they are also called minor planets. The Geminids emerge from 3 to 0 Python, which meteor scientists consider to be an asteroid. The asteroid is over 5 km in diameter and was named after the Greek myth of Python of sun god Helios. According to NASA, the Geminids rate will be better this year because the shower's peak overlaps with a nearly new moon, which means there will be a darker sky and no moonlight to wash out the phantom meteors. Actually on its orbit around the sun the earth passes through large bands of cosmic debris the debris is basically the fragments of comets as the earth passes through this cloud of comet waste and bits of debris create what appears to be fireworks exhibit in the sky known as meteor shower such as meteorites are smaller than that of asteroids and range in size from a small grains to 1 meter wide objects majority of meteorites are wreckage from comets or asteroids whereas others are collision impact debris ejected from bodies such as the moon or mars apart from that meteorite is a celestial object that survives its passage through the earth's atmosphere and lands upon the earth's surface meteors are best seen on a cloudless night when the sky is clearly visible and when the moon is not very bright the showers reach at its peak when the earth passes through the densest part of the debris cloud the tend to be the most observable after midnight and before dawn the showers should be seen with naked eyes because binoculars and telescope narrow the field of vision